what you mean? Ay, I like honey, nothing in between. Bad little baby, they got mad overseas. Ay, she wanna go out shopping every week. Finna go, she proud of now, she rockin' double C's. Ay, the way the back came in is like a dream. Lil' Fonz, all that for before this video continues, I have to give a huge shout out to our long time sponsor, Arnold Dispatch. If you don't know what Arnold Dispatching is, basically they're a dispatching service and they'll help you with your dispatching, your driver recruitment, or even simple DOT compliance. Even if you don't need that, they'll help you by laying you lease on their company if you tired of these brokers telling you no when you call for these loads. And we all trying to make it. So if you're interested in anything I just told you, go in the description and click the link under auto dispatching tell them qb central and they're gonna get you straight what's good youtube welcome back to another video with me qb if you're new like comment subscribe of course but um today we're gonna make this little video um to you know help the box truck sprinter van um owner operators owner operators or soon to be owner operators right um little background myself if you knew and you're not really into the box truck um business my name is qb basically you know, I'm an owner operator of a box truck. I've been doing this for about six months now. You know, and it's been hard on box trucks um, for the most part. I mean, hard all over trucking, but I'm in box truck, so, you know, I'm going to speak on the box truck. It's been hard for the box truck for the past couple of months, of course, but, you know, we made it through and basically, you know, we sticking around and we doing what we got to do to be profitable and stay in business. But um, today, you know, I, I, I want to give a little insight on the cargo van sprinter van business and you know put my two cents in it because i uh, i see how the videos are doing on youtube and i see like a lot of people are you know jumping into to that lane you know and i just want to get my two cents on what you should be looking out for so you don't make the same mistakes a lot of um box truck owner operators made when getting to the business because i already see like i'm all over the place i have a cargo van myself that i'm looking to put online soon so I always I already see the trends. I always already see the people who are trying to take advantage, and I already see you know the content and some people lying about how much you know money they're making in a cargo van, sprinter van. So, in my eyes, um, a cargo van, a sprinter van is basically just a smaller version of let's say a box truck. I mean, the, you can't hold um a lot of weight. You can't hold a lot of space. I mean, yeah, you don't have a lot of space. So you know you're very limited on a cargo van but you also are better off um we know what hours of services and whatnot so i can see why people want to get in that lane and also cargo van spinner vans are is a way 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 cheaper to get into than you know a box truck or a semi truck i mean the startup cost for a cargo van you know the is it, it, way less than both of those so i really feel like cargo van and spinner van if you really you want to get in trucking but you don't know if it's for you yet i'll say you probably should you know start off in a cargo van sprinter van and you know run it up and um and run up a bag that way that way you could get a little entry um experience into um trucking and see if you actually like it or, or whatnot you know i feel like that is a great way to get into you know trucking industry you know even if you don't have all the funds man this that's that's this is one of the cheapest ways you could get in so uh yeah basically i just want to talk about what not to you know the mistakes to not make getting into the cargo van and sprinter business, right? This is my two cents because I'm doing research as myself as if I don't know anything about the you know, cargo van and sprinter vans. All right, so as I'm doing research myself, acting like I don't know anything about the business, even though I do, you know, I'm going on YouTube, I'm doing my research, you know how to find loads for cargo vans, you know, what to do with cargo vans. You know, I, I typed it in, you know, cargo van business in YouTube. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling, and... I see somebody um, post a short on how you know they made a thousand dollars going a thousand eleven hundred dollars sorry going three hundred miles. If you don't know what that is, it's three dollars and six cents a mile, I believe, which is very great. You know, very great number. But as I'm looking into it, I'm like, you get three dollars and six miles in a cargo van. It was one pallet, um, little short pallet, small pallet, one pallet. You got three dollars and six cents a mile. Um, I'm in the box truck, right? Box trucks hold way more weight. It holds way more freight in general. And you know, right now in this market, especially with it being slow season, it's very hard to get three dollars a mile in a box truck and semi truck as well. Ask any content creator around that's really out here doing it. It's hard to get that in a box truck or a semi truck right now. Very hard. So the fact that you know he that person is posting consistent content on how they gain upwards of three dollars a mile, 
I'm not saying he's not doing three thousand miles. If he is, kudos to him. But like I said, I'm in the business. I know what's going on. I want you guys to be very conscious of you know who you invest your time and your money into when you're getting into the sprint event, cargo van space, right? There's a lot of people out there that's not very truthful and that's going to try to sell you things because at the end of the day, this is a money game as well. So if a lot of people, you know, are trying to get into space and they see it, they're going to take advantage of you because they know that you're very interested and you'll probably pay your money to get into it. So it's either sink or swim at that point. I don't want, you know, you guys to waste your money. I'm not in the cargo van. I'm not in the cargo van, spinner van space, but I'm, I'm about to get into it, like I said. So... I'm, I'm trying to make you guys just wary of what's going on out here. A lot of people are not being truthful. You get into cargo van, sprinter van space. You know, a lot of people, like, even though there's a lot of content creators out there posting about the cargo van, sprinter vans, a lot of people tend to lean to this person or lean to this person. Right? We all we all do that. We all have our favorite creators, our favorite influencers, whatever, that, you know, we all go invest in them other than somebody else. We all have that somebody. I just want you guys to know, just you know, do your research on the business yourself. Don't just listen to what a content creator says and believe it's true. You can make a lot of money, not just off cargo vans or posting on YouTube, but you know, off their supporters. They can make a lot of money that way. They'll probably make more money that way than you know, driving their sprinter van or cargo van. So I just don't want you guys to go down the wrong space, you know. And if you do get in a uh, cargo van and or sprinter van, you know, it's a hustle. Don't come out here and think you're going to get a cargo van or a sprinter van and just, you know, magically just start making money off rip. It doesn't work like that. You know, you got to put your own hustle and your own, you know, mindset in it. It's not going to be easy. I tell people this all the time. Just because you're a content creator, you know, making a lot of money, you don't know how long they've been in business. You don't know what type of connections they have. So jumping in, you're not going to have that you know that cushion they have and you know the knowledge they have they can tell you how to get started and what you could do to make money but ultimately it's up to you to figure it out right like like i'm telling you the first couple months one to three months is really a learning experience you're gonna make money but it's honestly just you learning learning the business you know to really be profitable you're going to be profitable most likely but you have to learn more on how to keep being pro profitable and keep saving money you know like i said this is this is a marathon not a race so when you get your cargo van or, or sprinter van, man, you got to hustle. Don't get it and think you're going to work one day, off the next day, work the next day. Like, you don't like you don't know what could go wrong with your sprinter van at any given time. So you're going to have to hustle, right? A lot of people end up quitting their jobs, you know, leaving their $100,000 a year job to get in these trucks and be a boss and whatnot. And, you know, I just want to look out for you guys and make y'all not make this mistake. Because at the end of the day, you know, if your business sink or swim, you know, nobody cares. It's you. Nobody's going to care whether your business sink or fell. It's going to be you. So you really have to, you know, think about jumping into this, this trucking industry in general before you actually put your time and money into it, right? Do your research, man. That's all I'm saying. Do your research. Please do your research. Like, my boy, um, you know, I was I was on live with Mark the Mentor. It was a little while ago now because this video is probably going to be posted somewhere down the line. I was on a, you know on a lot with him and we just talking about you know investing your money in places and you know how everybody's not always being truthful but like he says he some he said something like if the if the fish bites catch it what the fish bite catching means if you know you putting out content a person's putting out content you know and people or keep buying their courses even though they're not being truthful or not like we gotta understand you're not going if you're making money that way you know it is what it is. You're going to keep getting the money in. You ain't going to stop. You're going to keep kicking the money. So, I, I understand. So, hey, it is what it is, bro. I mean, I can only give you my two cents. And hopefully, you know, you you listen to me and you, you do what's right. I'm not saying don't invest your money into somebody. I'm saying do your research before you invest in somebody. Right? We all want to we all want hand and guidance and, you know, understanding some from somebody who's been in the game for a while we all want that we all want it so i understand if you know you buy into somebody you know and really try to learn off them that's cool but just know just know i'm telling you just do your research make sure all the numbers is right get a second opinion say oh i already like this person's content he's making x amount of money he's doing his thing go to another creator say hey can you look at this guy um is he truthful um you know, can can you can you see yourself investing in somebody like this? Are the numbers right? 
you know, go out your way to find a second opinion on, on, on certain people. There's nothing wrong with that. Before you spend your money, there's a lot of money you're going to be spending. Just get a second opinion on everything you do. Don't just go out on a leap of faith. You're spending your hard on money. Get a second opinion, please. Always, even me, you can DM me. I give you my opinion, my honest opinion. On this channel, I don't lie about nothing. I don't try to sell you nothing. I'm honest of what everybody's. The trucking industry is bad, and you shouldn't invest your money at this given time. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna be honest. The trucking, the truck business is booming. I'm gonna tell you. I'm never gonna tell you everything is fine 100% of the time because it's not. You can go on my channel. I post the breakdowns. I post the bad weeks. I post the good weeks. I will post everything about what I go through. I'm not just on one side of telling you, yeah, you're gonna make a whole bunch of money when you're not. I'm sorry, I'm not that type of person. I'm not gonna lie to you. So as I get into the cargo van, sprinter van, um, you know, business in a little while, you know, I'ma document my my content over there. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna be driving the sprinter van. You know, I might drive for a week or two to put the content out there for you guys, then put a driver in it because at the end of the day. It's just going to be a business investment for me. It's not really for me to be an owner operator. I'm just going to, you know, get my little experience in a sprinter van, see how it's going. And then I'll probably put a driver in there because ultimately that's not my goal. I'm already in a box truck. I've already been in the box truck for a little while now. I'm just going to see what the sprinter van is like for a week or two. That way when I get a driver, I could teach him the ins and out and he'll be fine. Ultimately, goal, I'm going to CDL school to get my CDL soon. That's my, that's where I'm elevating to. That's, you know, that's my goal. So... That's really spinner van car van is gonna be an investment for me. So as I, you know, go down that road, I'm gonna bring you guys with me. I'm gonna document everything what's going on. And yo, if I find some, I will share it with you guys. Like that's what I'm game it to be told. The game is to be told, not sold. It's not to be sold and not told. I don't believe in that. If you have the power to help others, help others. There's a lot of people out here who's genuine and really want to get the knowledge and the, and the business information, you know, that can't afford it. So because they can't afford it, they don't deserve to be here. Now, that's not true. I feel like if you really, really want to be somewhere in life and you and you think about it often and you really want it, you should have it. And that's why I preach over here on my channel. You know, I tell you, I give you all guys, I give all you guys free game. I don't care what it is. It could be a million dollar game. I'm going to share it to you and, and not want a penny from you because that's just how I am. I'm going to get my blessings from God later on. I don't need it right now. He's got me, so I got y'all. So, yeah, that's my little rant video, man. Invest your money and your time wisely. If you're new, like, comment, subscribe. As always, I'm out. Peace.